Hello guys, I'm Radnish Kathrodi and today I'm going to show you how to add a speed synchronization in your web page. So hey guys, let's get started how to have made this speed synchronization on web page. So you can see here this is my uh, uh, demo web page which I built for this product. Here uh, this is one speech button and this is one input box button. So here when I going to click, click this speech button, here there is another tech uh, division will be shown where uh, where it will be uh, recording and I have a uh, I will speak hello and it will uh, show in input input button and it will uh, reply me uh, hi Rajnish because uh, uh, it's reply it's reply will be within JSON here you can see another I uh, recording I no uh, I don't speak anything so it will uh, Answer in default answer that I could not hear you could say data so it will uh, uh, it will uh, done by just an simple JSON or in JavaScript JavaScripting so here let's start with the first HTML here you can see these the divisions different variations first is input second is button then third one is that division which we which will show on recording time only so this is the uh, button which is class button or id which record and this is in, uh, showing division this is speech division which is id speech so we are start with the javascript in this in the scripting language uh, we have to first uh, define variables like speech input recording button uh, recognitions then uh, message recording when message recording when, uh, uh, there is uh, this this four uh, variable as a default default value which I have set on right right side you can see now set now start this is a ready function uh, where I have uh, create two variables speech input and recognition button uh, that is ID assign speech ID and recognition ID okay and uh, then I uh, start speech input when it when we have st uh, start in speech input at the time we can also start with an enter button an enter button has a value on keyboard as in 13 so here i have set event dot which is equal to 13 another from, from another we have to we can start recording with an button that we have uh, put on right side so this is the code uh, this this is the foreign button start with a button recognition so when i have when I click on uh, recognition button, so it will uh, automatically start switch recognition function. So what is switch recognition function? Okay. So let me start uh, switch recognition. Function. Here you can see this is a switch recognition. Function. In that function, what we have uh, done? If recognition is if recognition if start, then it will stop the recognition, or else it will start. Again. I mean, it will switch on the recognition. If start, if it it will start, then it will. Uh, stop and it will it will stop then it will start so what is stop in the stop so so this is just for a start in this start you know, function here you can see uh, the in recognition I have put this new web kits here this is the main library for a recognition function this library work on only you know, Chrome browser and and this library will work with an only http hosted web pages so you have to host this web page before uh before start uh, start with an practical okay so after uh, after that uh, including library uh, we have to start recognition and uh, here you can see when you will start recognition that uh, respond that that will that uh, new division uh, which will show and in the division recording text will be showing show and uh, update record, update recording function will call in this update recording what we have done in this update recording that uh, that will uh, update text on recording if it was uh, in process of recording then it will stop and if it was uh, it was stopped already then it will it will start okay so that was the update recording and here you can see uh, on, on result it means it will show result of 
what we have recorded so this will uh, see on uh, show in uh, set input and set input and then it will stop that recognition we can stop recognition and you can see stop recognition function means where it will stop that recognition and put value null into recognition or if on and if there is no any value on input then it will automatically show respond message couldn't be here okay or stop that recognition or this all recognition will be on only english language okay so that will uh, check also after the end of the recognition and uh, this and make the start of the recognition so this is all coding which i have made for this speech recognition web page so you can use this coding in your web page and make a uh, easy or make it more interactive for a user of your web page so here you can see how i will use this switch organization for my web page here i am asking for what is time now and this show me time is now 10 54 this is all json scripting which i have which i will show on the next tutorial or on another tutorial because it's uh, it's little bit tough okay so thank you guys and uh, watching this video please like like this video so share it to other and subscribe this channel and never miss this uh more real that channel okay so thank you guys